What's up guys, I am Mike Arnold, the owner of Creekside Outdoor Living here in Crown Point, Indiana, and this is a video about how we install the dryer. Flooding is a really big issue that we have here in Northwest Indiana. Why? We've got some clay soils, we've got lots of rain, and we've got subdivisions that are somewhat pieced together, right? You might have built your house four years ago, and then, you know, Jack and Betty come and build their house, and it's just a little bit above yours. And then you've got that all around your property, and suddenly you've got a water holding issue. So I made a video on a French drain, and you can go and watch that. And a French drain is always gonna be the thing that is um, most desired use because it's gonna take water from one location and it's gonna bring it to another. Now, however, if you cannot do that, and let me explain why you could not do it. If you could not do that, you would want a dry well. A dry well is used when you cannot feasibly uh, use a French drain to take water from one location to another due to this guy being higher than you and this guy being higher than you and something is going on, on the backside maybe you've got a really big raised burn and it's just not feasible to send water to any one location here so introduce the dry well a dry well is going to be sort of similar to a french drain in that we need to excavate out a hole fill it with stone except it's going to stay there and here's what i mean so you've got your grass here right Sort of like this, blades of grass. We're gonna come in, we're going to dig a hole. All right, so now this is open to the air. Now, how big this hole is, is gonna be depending on how big your issue is, how wide the problem is, right? So let's say that you just got the back corner of your lot, right? Just the back corner here, Mike, I don't know what to do. I've got a pool and a puddle that just won't go away in the back corner of my yard. And we've got, we get on site and we determine there's nowhere that we can send that water. So this is going to be about this size, but yours might be different. So it might be 10 feet long and five feet wide. It might be 30 feet long, but you just don't know until we get out there and assess the situation. Um, as well as the depth. Um, the depth, we want to go maybe a foot, maybe two feet. We've gone as deep as three feet before just to make absolute certain uh, that we were not going to overfill this dry well. So that being said, we dig a hole. We're going to come in here and line this hole with a fabric, a geotextile. Bring it up to about there. Now this is, and this is, was explained in the French drain video as well, uh, this is going to separate our stone that's gonna be inside this well from our soil. Because if you've ever taken a, a stone and thrown it in the dirt and you stepped on it, you know what happens. It kind of intermeshes and we don't want that because eventually this whole thing will turn into mud and stone. So we wanna separate the filter stone from the soil with a fabric. So what's different from the French drain is that the French drain is going to have a, a, a tube that's gonna sit in here to take the water that will sit inside of this hole and take it somewhere else. This is a dry well, we're not doing that. So bye-bye goes the pipe. This whole thing is going to be filled with stone. And then once we get to a certain point, I wanna make sure that I'm leaving room for about maybe two, three, maybe four inches of soil so we can get our uh, grass growing over the top of it. And it could be grass, it could be, you know, this could be in your landscape bed. So we're going to, you know, whatever, whatever you want to have happen on top of this is completely up to you. Uh, but it could be grass. Sorry, we, we've kind of fill in soil here and eventually you would have grass here again. Or it might be, you know, a, an exposed decorative stone if it's in your landscape or if you would like this to be a, a dry creek bed. That's another video that I should be able to make. But uh, regardless, this is the concept. So now instead of all of your soil um, logging with water and you go back there and you step on it and water is traveling over the top of your shoes, now the water is 
in this holding cell. So when the water is pooling up here and you've got this problem, the water is essentially just sitting there waiting for all of the soil to dry up so that it can finally get down into the soil and distribute evenly. Well, now we're, we're making this the place for that to happen. Um, and water is going to sit in here until we stop getting rain and this can successfully mitigate back into the soil. Now, this can be paired with a French drain. Um, we had cases before where it was really, really bad in somebody's backyard and, and we were forced to make a couple of these basins and get some tubing in there. So you had, you know, say this was the house. We had a dry well here. We had a, get another color here, get, had another dry well here and we interconnected these guys and then, <laughs> then sent it out because our client was just not too sure that one or the other was going to satisfy his needs, so he had us do both. So, um, either way, this is the main concept of a drive.